It is Gumi Calm Day. It is finally here. I've been waiting since last year's Go Fest. I am so ready. I have a perfect maxed out best buddy Gumi that's ready to evolve. But before we get started, I need to make sure we're situated because we have a contest today. So hopefully you guys saw, I posted on social media. We posted it in Discord. We've got a couple, a couple categories for this contest going on today. First one is going to be the most Stardust gained because we get triple catch Stardust today for this Gumi calm day bonus which is arguably one of the best bonuses that you could have for a calm day so we've got that most stardust earned the next one's going to be the most xls earned between two and five today so we're definitely going to need a level three dragon mega the other contest is we are looking for the largest shiny gumi and for those of you that don't know xxl is not always the largest because we are determining largest not by height but by height times weight so that is another category and then the final category is our creative ar contest so we are using the new AR AR feature to come up with the most creative Gumi shot of the day. Farm Don and I are voting on our four favorite entries and then we are posting them on my Instagram story where you guys are voting on your very favorites to win. The prizes today for each of these categories you will win a set of Pokemon pins and the grand prize winner will win a Lugia plush. So some pretty good merch out there for Pokemon lovers. That being said we need to get this going. We need to start with our Mega because we are going very serious. Dragon Mega. Dragon. Oh yeah we should just do a Rayquaza. Oh my gosh, I didn't even check the boost. Oh my gosh, if we can get a windy boost for that dragon type, that'd be ideal. What do we got today? Partly cloudy. Normal and rock. It's not what I wanted, but I'll take what I can get. So, auto catcher is going, which is going to be extremely helpful today to catch those spawns that I missed. So I'm going to take a screenshot here, and I'm going to take another screenshot at 5 o'clock, and we'll compare. On top of that contest for you guys to win prizes, Farm Don and I are also going to be competing, but we're not going to be competing in the AR task. So whoever wins best of three of those other categories, the loser will have to suffer the consequence in Madrid. The only exception to this rule between him and I is if one of us gets a Shundo, that's an automatic win. So I'm really hoping for a Shundo. I know a couple of you have already gotten the Shundo. Me being Pacific time, I get to see all of these amazing Shundos before I even get to play, but it's really inspiring, very motivating. So hopefully we can get it going. We've got a pretty big turnout today. I think on Campfire it said there were 58 RSVPs for this event today. Everyone and their mom is out here for Gumi because it is a good shiny. It's a cute Pokemon. Guys, I'm gonna say Gumi is probably in my top five for favorite Pokemon. I like Chichini, I like Togetic, I like Kyogre. I think Gumi's up there. We need to rotate our buddy. So I'm going to take advantage of how much we're gonna be walking and I am going to make my buddy a Pokemon that can also accumulate mega energy. So that's gonna either be one of my Kyogres, the Groudon, or the Rayquaza. Who do I want to see on the map with me? I probably want the Rayquaza because it's going to be in the sky. It won't be on the map with me. It won't be distracting. And I'm going to give it a Poffin because I'm going to be walking so much. This is going to be my pro tip for the day. If you are walking a lot, like for anyone going to GoFest, Poffin your buddy at the beginning. The only warning I might have is last year at GoFest, some of the field researches had to do with your buddy. So Poffining might not be the best idea, but if it's something for walking, it's a Lakoth. Really want that shiny. I do love the Slumbering Sands event. I really want the Kamala would be awesome. I also would really like the, the Slicloth. Shiny or Hundo, i take either. It doesn't have to be Shiny and Hundo, but that would be ideal. Let's leave the Shiny and the Hundo to the Gumi because that's really, that's really what I want. Looks like there's also a Golden Lure. There's two Golden Lures here. For those of you that don't know, Golden Lure, you can get that by connecting your Pokemon Go account to Scarlet and Violet if you have it via Switch. Getting a Gimme Ghoul bag. Every five Gimme Ghoul bags you get, you get a Golden Lure that you can lay down for your friends and it lasts 30 minutes. So it's super, super nice. So thank you to those of you that did that. Guys, I feel a Shundo. I'm telling you right now, I feel a Shundo. Gumi Shundo is in my future. And oh, let's find some lucky trades. It is two o'clock, the event has officially started. I am going to take a screenshot just so we're super accurate here. 14,569,000 Stardust, 75 XLs. And then we need to make sure because of this event that we are popping star pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and use this cool feature. We're gonna click the side to add more time. That's one hour, one and a half, two, two and a half, three hours worth of star pieces. We are set to go. Auto catcher is already doing work exactly like I want. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and see what the professor has to say. Don't mind the mess. I was just enjoying the shade and jotting down a few notes when I noticed some slime on my coat. Ooh. Research opportunities come in unexpected forms and I have an inkling this residue belongs to a certain clingy culprit. While I figure out how to clean this up, could you look around and let me know if you observe anything interesting in the area? What do we gotta do? Power up a Pokemon 10 times, catch. Look at the auto catcher's already caught five Goomies and make five nice throws. Who are we powering up today, ladies and gentlemen? Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, four. 
We're doing it the cheapest possible power up we, we can do. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're at eight, nine, and 10. That is 10 power ups. We are good to go. We did it the cheapest way possible. I think we just spent 1,000 Stardust. Oh my gosh, what a cutie. Oh, he's so sweet. That's so cool, what? We found our first lucky trade of the day. We got Steve. Steve is probably, I don't know. I feel like you and I have been lucky friends the most of a lot of my friends, yeah. Very consistent friend to have, love that. And we've decided to trade shiny Articuno and I want a shiny Suicune. I've got the hundo of the other two legendary dogs. I need the Suicune. From South Korea. Ooh, and they like match. They totally match. I think that's a good sign. Okay, and they match you, actually. <laughs> All right. And it is really bad. Is yours better? Oh, a 96. He got 15, 13, 15. All right, did it trigger another lucky? Did not. Aww. All right, GG. Thank you for that. Thank so the group has actually found a shadow Raikou raid, and I'm down. I'm so down. So the only thing is, I haven't really caught any spawns. We need to activate an incense. Do we do our daily or do we save that? No, we're gonna be all business today. We're gonna do a regular incense. We'll do our daily later. And I have yet to catch my own Gumi shiny. Actually, I wonder if the auto catcher has. Auto catcher has not caught a shiny. Okay, so. It's a race between me and the auto catcher who will catch it first. I'm gonna use my great balls today because Gumi is definitely worth it. And I'm in competition with Farm Dawn, so I gotta be very serious about this. First shiny of the event, and it's from Research, and we don't know the Research Hundo, so Mario is looking it up. It should be 418. Dang! Okay, 404. Not, it's 418, it's not a Hundo, but shiny from Research, that's awesome. Okay, we'll keep going. We found Sunasuga, the second lucky trade of the day. And I actually want to go for a shiny Gumi, because if I can just get a Shundo from a lucky trade, why am I not trying to do that? You wanted, what was it? Uh, Tabu, Tabu Lele. Tabu Lele. Yeah, if I can get a, a Shundo Gumi, a lucky Shundo Gumi, and just destroy this contest right here. Oh, I got sneeze. Feeny, or was it Lele? Which one was it? Lele. Lele. Oh, wait, you wanted the, oh yeah, Lele, right there. Okay, you want a weather boosted one? Yes, please. Yipper, can do. From Taiwan, okay. Okay, come on, Gumi. Come on, Gumi. Oh, whoops, I gotta press go. It can happen right here, it can be the moment. Yeah. Oh man, it is a warm day. It is a... Oh, mine's not good. Ooh, not that great. Oh, 15, was it 15? 15. 15, 12, 12. 15, 12, 12. Okay, mine is a 14, 13, 12. All right, but we got the, we got it done. Did it trigger Lucky? No, one day it will, one day it will. We are at our Shadow Raikou, and hopefully, because I forgot that we get an extra special trade for this season, so we get a total of three, and I've already done two, but maybe doing this raid, we can trigger Luckies with some people. So let's get in it, and it filled up just like that. So yeah, it looks like there's a lot of potential here for, Lucky friends. And we've got party power, which is even better. I'm going to go adventure down where this gym is. It's actually on the dock in the middle of the water. Look at how pretty this is. Crazy. And, oh, I didn't shard, my bad, sorry team. But look at all these paddle boarders and kayakers on the river today. You know what? One day, during a calm day or an event that I don't really care about the Pokemon, maybe there's a bonus like hatching, I am going to float the river and play, is what I'm gonna do. Like today, we can't, it's too, there's too much on the line, but look at this, how gorgeous. I just live in a really beautiful place and I'm really grateful to live here and to have the Pokemon Go community that we have. I'm just so lucky, I'm so lucky. Let's see how lucky, let's see if we get a, a shiny from this. Not shiny in 1874, I can't remember perfect. Is it 1874? <laughs> I don't know actually, I really don't know, I hope. See, this is the thing, if you don't know the perfect CP, then, there's so much more hope. You got so much more opportunity until someone bursts your bubble or you catch it and you appraise it and then you find out, but. Matt, what's the perfect? 19? Oh. Yeah, mine's pretty bad. Dang, and the hope has died. While we are walking to this next shadow raid, I'm going to go ahead and collect page one of our community day research and maybe get another shiny Gumi. No, just regular. 14, 414 is the perfect, I've been told. So that is not it, but let's see what the professor has to say after we claim this one. Not a perfect. Aha, I knew it. This goo came from Gumi, the soft tissue Pokemon. Gumi tend to live in damp, shady places, They're so their bodies don't dry out. I should have watched where I was sitting. 
I'd love to learn more about Gumi and its evolutions while we have this opportunity. Given that you seem better than me at staying slime free, would you mind evolving Gumi into Slagoo? Cool. And this is when we do our hondo. But actually, we'll do that in a little bit. We need to figure out where we're going. And I'm hatching an egg. <laughs> Ooh, Raiolu. Nope. Catch the shiny. No. What's his name again? Kermit. Kermit. Oh, he's so nice. Just playing calm day. Oh. Can I pet him? Can I pet him? Of course. Is that okay? Hi, buddy. Usually. <laughs> Thankfully, it doesn't bite hard. No, it doesn't hurt. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. Can you give it a head? He's like, do I know you? <laughs> He's like, oh, I know that finger. <laughs> That's so funny. How cool these bison are. Neat. We get to shiny from a shadow, right? Would you like to click mine? Sure. Okay. How does that even happen? And, ah, what is it? 1897. No dice. It's XLs for me. My first shiny in the wild, and it is from Incense. I think my auto catcher has definitely caught some, but this is my first one in the wild. And it's nice to see the sparkle, especially when we are not around Pokestops and there's not a lot of spawns. So let's go ahead and see how it is. Woo, so good. We are getting back into where there are actual Pokestops that we can spin and try and get some research so maybe we can get a research Gumi. Shundo from research is on my list. It would be awesome to hatch a Shundo, Shundo from research, a lucky Shundo. I've got my wild spawn Shundo. I've got my wild spawn calm day Shundo. I've got my raid day Shundo and a regular raid Shundo. So um, another one is a random special non-lucky trade. Shundo would be cool. Hatching a 2k right now. A Pichu. I don't even know what's in eggs to be honest. I'm not sure. But let's see. Oh, I also decided to break in different shoes today, hoping that maybe I could wear them in Madrid because there's no way you do not do new shoes. Guys, I did that in, I did it in Vegas. Broke in some new shoes, big mistake. So I was doing it today and same thing's happening. I think I'm starting to get a blister, which is super unfortunate. I did not bring other shoes. So I might have to adapt. <laughs> Look how cute this little gummy is in the flower. I love that. He's so cute. Look at this happy boy coming to say hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, so friendly. Hi. Hello, little friend. Hi, sweetie. Are you nice? Are you a nice puppy? Oh, hello. You boy? Hi, buddy. You are a boy. Just like that, calm day is over. Wow. Okay. So let's go ahead and screenshot our stardust see how many xls guys we did not go as hard as i had anticipated but i just got home from community day and i forgot to do my calm day research so noodle and i are gonna go do some of these sligoo raids sligoo sligoo and the day is not done I, guys i just like i forgot to do everything i forgot to do that research i forgot to evolve my hundo best buddy gumi so we've just it's not over. Come here, Noodle. It's not over. Where are you going? I'm so happy to see you too. Calm day with Noodle. Noodle and I are at the dog park. And there happens to be a Slagoo raid that's about to hatch in a couple minutes. So we're going to do that and try to finish our calm day research. I think I want to evolve at least one shiny, my hundo, and then maybe see if we have something for like Battle League. Oh my goodness! It's a friend! Oh my goodness, so happy! Marvie, can we stop rolling around in the. Hi! In the stinky grass? Noodle, you're gonna smell like whatever it is. Guess who's getting a bath tonight? All right, come on, Stinky. I know that back here at this dog park, there's like this cute little picnic table, so we'll probably post up there. Good job, you're so smart. You're so capable, Nugget. We are finally in a position to where we can get this done and evolve three Gumi. So we will save the hundo for last, but I do want to go through our Gumis today 
and it's almost better. You guys, I've never done this. I usually get the research done during calm day, but this might be better because then I don't just evolve anything to get this done. I can go through and see if there's anything like specific IVs that I want. We're looking for low attack and high everything else, kind of like this one. Ooh, like this, I'm gonna screenshot. That has potential. This also has some potential, even though the attack is kind of higher. See, this one looks okay. The HP is just pretty low. And if I was to power this one up for a battle league, it's level one, so that's kind of unfortunate. Oh my gosh, we got a Nundo. Didn't even realize, 124, wow. I saw people posting about their Nundos, but I, I didn't ask what the CP was. We must have got this early then. Oh my gosh, a Nundo, how fun! Okay, cool. Do we evolve our Nundo? Do you guys evolve your Nundos? Do you save your Nundos? I know people that max out their Nundos. That ain't us. This one looks decent. One fourteen fourteen looks pretty good. You're all dirty. Get up here. You gonna be in the video? Come say hello, everybody. Say hi, everybody. So happy we're at the park. You've got dirt everywhere, bro. What are you eating? Dodo, what is this? What is all over you? What was it? What'd you eat? Are you gonna go play some more? For those of you that are not sure how to appraise your Pokemon like that, I use Pokegenie, which is a third party app. I'm gonna import these screenshots I took of my potentially good Battle League Pokemon. And then we are going to select them one by one. This one is a 99.5 for Great League. So if we can beat 99.5 as a Slagoo though. 99.7 as a Slagoo, even better. No good. So we got 99.7 Slagoo for Great League. This one is a 98% Gudra. That's the best Gudra we have in Ultra League. Usually I'm just like a Hundo girl. This is kind of why I stick with Master League because it's just Hundos. Like you just want Hundos. <gasps> a perfect Great League Gudra. Wow! We had a good day! 114, 14. I knew that was gonna be a good one. A perfect Great League Gudra. Wow, okay, so that's 267. We are gonna go CP 267, and we are going to save that, and we are going to tag it for. Was it? It's Great League. It's a Great League Gudra. Wow, alright, so we cannot. That's as a Gudra, not even as a Slagoo. 98, 98 Gudra for Ultra League, but it's. That's that. Level one, that's gonna take so much stardust to get up there. And our final check here, a 98.8 for Ultra League. That's the one, 294. 294, this is a Gudra for Ultra League. We have a Hundo Gudra for Great League and a 98.8% Gudra for Ultra League. That's amazing. And I have a Hundo if I ever wanted to use it in Master League. How many shinies did we get? 17, one of them was traded and I didn't mirror it, so I'm gonna say 16. Look how good they look. We did our lucky trades. We actually did not find our third lucky trade, so I'm gonna have to do a random special tonight. Evolve three, and this Gumi needs to be a Gudra, so we are going to evolve it because it is perfect for Great League. How jealous are my PVPers right now? I'm pretty stoked. Evolve for the Ultra League 98.8 Noodle. We're gonna go shiny. We're gonna go three star. Ooh, okay, let's see which one of these. Probably this one. And we will evolve this one just so we have the shiny Slagoo up in here. Love this, so fun. And my phone is gonna die, so I need to go back to my car. I need to find my dog. He's probably playing with his best friend. That's what we need to do. We just need to put a bunch of pokey stops in a dog park and then everyone can just hang out with their dogs and play calm day. You're a slime savant, Alexa. But take extra care around your new Slagoo. Its mucus can dissolve pretty much anything. Also, I don't want to alarm you, but hi, handsome boy. He found us. I don't want to alarm you, but it's worth mentioning the Slagoo are known to have trouble drawing a line between friends and food. Might be worth seeing if yours is ready to evolve. It could save you the trouble of fending off a well-intentioned but melty hug. Oh, goodness. Catch 15 Gumi, perfect, that's what we need. And evolve a Slagoo. So let's go ahead, Slagoo. Is it this one? For Great League. Oh, we need a, a rainy lure. I totally forgot that we needed a lure. This is becoming like a whole adventure. An entirely new adventure. Calm day part two. Holy moly, this wind. We did get the windy weather boost for the last hour, which is nice. We need to do the Slagoo raid. 
We need to make three great curveball throws, easy. Catch 15 Gumi, that's what we need to do, and then evolve a Slagoo, but we can't evolve a Slagoo unless we have the Rainy Lure module, so there is a stop down there, and then I think next page we're gonna have to catch more? No, I don't think we will. So I think we can do, I think we can do this raid. We beat this Slagoo raid, here it is. Now we should be getting spawns. So, oh, there they are, woo, baby. Okay, so let's see if we can get any more shinies. Oh, I think there's some showcases around here too. <laughs> Noodle's so cute. Hi, happy boy. Hi, happy. Oh, and we're gonna get a radar. And let's see where we're at on our egg. I would like to go into Madrid next week with 12 12K eggs for the event. So I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna get there. We're at 24 hearts for our buddy with the poppin' berry. Oh, we didn't finish our route today, dang. I wonder if there's, a, there's, there's definitely a route over here. So we can get 26. And then if we do Pokemon Sleep for that research, we could get even more. Okay, what's going on here? Yeah, our route has been paused. I forgot to finish it earlier. My bad. So we need more spawns, which I probably need to walk around then is what that means. These dogs are like your own little IRL Pokemon. Murphy is, Murphy's my IRL Pokemon. I put the rainy lure down over here. I walked to the edge of this dog park here. And now we can go and we can evolve our Slagoo. It's our Slagoo. I want to do the Great League one. Yeah, I kind of want to do all of these, honestly. And I still haven't even done our Hundo. Priority is going to be this Calm Day research, and then we will do our Hundo. Gujo is adorable. Even though its lore is kind of weird and it's like gooey, you know? It's cute. Gujo for Great League. Let's see how much it would cost to power that up. Wow! Not even that much. 15.4. It's perfect. I love that. How much for another move? 75. Okay. Not too bad, but really, let's go ahead and claim this. Oh, we need to catch four more Gumi. That's the gym, and we've got 21 minutes on the timer, so I think we just need to walk around a little bit more. Me and little hot dog here have finally caught all the Gumis we need, and let's go ahead and collect our radar, and our stardust, and our encounter with Slagoo. Simply slime-tastic. Gudra is an amazingly friendly Pokemon with a penchant for hugging its trainer, and yes, before you ask, you can make things pretty gooey. This Pokemon isn't all slime and rainbows though. The strikes from Gudra's horns land 100 times harder than any blow from a heavyweight boxer. Anyhow, thanks for sticking with this research. I hope you and your Gudra stay together for many years to come. Chenny Gudra from research would be really cool. No. The final act of Gumi Calm Day 2024 is evolving our Hundo Maxed Out Best Buddy Gumi. And I'm gonna go ahead and evolve it while we got this lure. Let's see where the Best Buddy badge goes. It was on his head. And now for Slagoo, let's see. I don't think head. I think the head gets smaller and the body gets bigger. Oh, it's on its head. It's on its head. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Now let's go ahead and evolve into Gudra. I like Gumi and I like Gudra. Slagoo kind of freaks me out because of the eyes. It's like the eyes thing. Like Sylveon doesn't have like eye pupils. Neither does Slagoo. Freaks me out. But back to Gudra. We actually have eyes. It actually looks cute again. And let's see where the, it's gotta be on the chest, right? <gasps> it stays on the head. Yes, no way, no way, no way. Whoa, it's windy. Yeah, baby, look at that. On the head. Gudra is ready to go. Oh, already has a third move. I've done this real good. 39.63 is what it maxes out at. If we sort by CP, where's my Gudra? 39, wow, it's pretty high up there. My Zekrom's not maxed, but it's between my max Zapdos and my maxed Entei. It's higher than Entei, you guys. Higher than maxed out Entei and Raikou. Wow, high five, we did it. Okay, next is to calculate the winners of all of our contests. Now to calculate the winners of the contest, see if Farm Don or myself won. See which one of you guys won each of our categories and who's taking home all of our cool Pokemon prizes today. Little side note, I am going to Go Fest Madrid and I will be at Go Fest New York. So guys, if you are also going to be there, please let me know. I would love to meet up with you guys. Make sure you're following on other social media. Make sure you're in the Discord server because that's where I'll be posting where I'm gonna be for meetups. If you're not gonna be at any of the Go Fest, but you would like Necrozma raid invites, add me on Patreon. I've got spots left and I would love to send you guys raids. It's probably what I'm gonna be spending most of my time doing. So I will pin the link in the comments below. Now the winners of the Gumi Calm Day Contest the moment you have all been waiting for. First, the winner of the AR photo contest for most creative Gumi photo, as voted on by you guys on Instagram, is Reiji with the extremely creative and very cute shiny Gumi ice cream cone. The winner of the largest shiny Gumi goes to NH4 Plus, a whopping 2.996.
These next two categories were extremely competitive and went to grinders. You really had to grind this event to maximize both Stardust and XL. We actually had the same person win both of these categories, not really a surprise, with 1,651 XLs gained and 732,443 Stardust gained in three hours, that's insane. We have Tico Adaoi is our winner for both of those. So congrats Tico, you actually win two categories, you get two prizes. Now we are going to use the wheel to figure out our grand prize winner of the Lugia plush. Our grand prize winner is... NH4 Plus, congratulations. I will be sending you your prizes in the mail. Now the second part of this competition was between Farm Don and I. So best two of three would win and the loser actually has to suffer the consequences at GoFest in Madrid. The largest Shiny Gumi goes to Farm Dawn with 2.79. Congrats, Farm Dawn. Most Stardust gained was 167,393. And that goes to me. 1-1. <laughs> one, one. So one Farm Dawn, one Lex. Now the final category of most XLs gained during this three hour calm day goes to Farm Dawn with 1,651 XLs gained. So I'm not really sure how I got more Stardust, but he got more XLs, but that is what happened. So farmed on to Lexa one. Now for the twist. It is a guaranteed win if one of us gets a Shundo. And as I was going through my Pokemon today, let's just take a look. We're gonna go shiny and four star. I got a Shundo Gumi in my bag. So, besides being extremely stoked about that alone, I am pleased to say that I actually demolished Farm Dawn in this competition and I am crowning myself the winner. So that being said, start brainstorming. What is the consequence that we are gonna make Farm Dawn do while we are in Madrid? Let me know if you have any ideas in the comments, otherwise we will discuss it in detail during the next live stream. All in all guys, it was a great calm day. I appreciate you guys watching as always. Special shout out to my patrons. Much love and much gratitude your way. I wanna give an extra, extra special shout out to those of you that were part of the Donothon we did on Twitch this last week. It went a really long way as far as getting us to GoFest Madrid. So we are only going because of you guys, so I appreciate that a lot. Expect some pretty cool content coming from Europe and I will see you guys on the next video.